This is counting collections. So for counting collections, you can get any item that you have. I'm going to do colored bears that my son uses to play with because I have a whole tube of them. But you might choose to use pennies or beans or beads or any collection of things that you have. If you have a collection of Legos at your house, really anything works. So I'm going to be doing these colorful bears. So I'm going to dump them all out and I'm going to see what I have here. So I have a really large pile right now. I need to decide how I'm going to organize this collection to count it. Um, so I think what I might try is, I think I could show it by, um, maybe by counting one. So let's see what happens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Uh oh, I lost track. Hmm. I wonder if there's a better way that I could count this collection. Hmm. Well, I could probably put my bears into groups. Maybe that would help. Maybe doing groups of 10 would be good because then I could keep track. I know how to count by tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, ten. So there's one pile of ten bears. Now I could make another. Two, four, six, eight, ten. So now I know I have ten and ten, which makes twenty. So I have twenty bears so far. So I could try another. Two, four, six, eight. 10. So now I have 10, 20, 30 bears. Let's try another group of 10. 10, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So now I have 10, 20, 30, 40 bears. Let's see if I can make another group of 10. 2, 4, 6, 8, Oh, I ran out of bears. So now I know there's eight here. So let's see, could I solve for all my bears with my collection sorted into groups of 10? Well, I know there's 10, 20, 30, 40. Oh, and then there's eight more. So 40 plus eight, hmm, let's see, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48 bears. So I have 10, 20, 30, 40, and eight more makes 48. So now one thing I could do is I could show how I counted my collection. So I'm going to come down here with some paper. Move my collections up a little bit. And I'm gonna show how I found my 48 bears. So I'm gonna show that I had one group of 10, and then I had another group of 10, and then I had another group of 10. And then see, I have this group up here. So I'm gonna show that was a group of 10. And then I had a group of eight. So I could show that I had 10 plus 10 was 20. 20 plus another 10 was 30. 30 plus my other 10 was 40. And 40 plus the eight was 48. So that's one way I could count and show my collection. I wonder if there are other ways I could count it and show it too. I bet I could try by fives or by twos, or if I had a really big collection, maybe I could try groups of 50 or 100. Why don't you go find a collection at your house and see how you can arrange it, count it, and then show how you counted with a representation on a piece of paper. Have fun counting your collections.